Buster, bust loose. Hey there, Stalkaz here. So in my last video, we started the playthrough of the SNES game Buster Bust Loose. So we're going to go ahead and finish the game in this video. This is the before the football game. Hi there, I'm reporting from the Acme University Stadium. The game between our own Acme University and our rivals is almost over. The score is 14 to 10. We need a touchdown to win. This will be our last chance to score. Let's interview Bookworm during this timeout. I'm just a substitute player. Imagine playing a game <laughs> and it being a life and death situation. <laughs> so as you see, Buster is running back and he's also the receiver. He can either run or pass. Most of the time I run because passing is super difficult as I'll exhibit later on. Because <laughs> Buster, when he runs, he just can't stop and it's hard to place him on the target, so yeah, just keep running down the yards. And as you're running, you can actually hit the Y button, like what you usually do the kick to fend off would-be tacklers. Here's my first attempt at passing. Lucky the quarterback. And as you see, you have to stand in that X, but as you can see, you can't stop. Buster keeps running. So, anyway. That's why I run most of the time. Is win or go home. <laughs> In this case, it's win or die. No pressure. So every time uh, you go beyond the 10 yards, every subsequent yard, you get a bonus star. Obviously, for every 10 yards, you get a first down, and then, you know, every, anything beyond that is surplus. For the goal, I, <laughs> I um, slow down quite a bit and basically just inch across, like, you know, inch across the goal. <laughs> and there we go, touchdown! Buster Buddy scored a touchdown to win the game. 16 to 14. Hooray! Acme University wins. This is Babs Bunny reporting from the Acme University Stadium. Alright, now this is Babs Finder Friend. So we're at Myra Duff's home. She's the animal lover who loves them to death. And basically you rescue all the friends that are locked away in their closets. Time, they give you very little time. Like basically, I forget exactly how long. It's not that much time. So I was able to rescue bunch of them. And there's Myra, there's also Arnold and Dizzy Devil out, out there to get you. Alright, on to the next level. This is Buster Sky Jinx. Dude, that game was too close. Now I'd like to introduce my friend Calamity Coyote. He's not a sports buff, but he is clever and sometimes invents things. Buster, could you do me a favor? Sure, Calamity. What is it? I hit a very important item way, way up in the sky, but I can't remember where I hit it. Could you find it for me? No problem, consider it done. Go to the plaza and push the button on the capsule. This will allow you to go up higher. By the way, how did you hide it up so high? And there's no answer, I guess we'll never know. Now we go up into the balloon. I love the music in this level. It gives, it reminds me of George Gershwin's American in Paris. I like the jazzy aspect of it. Here we see Hampton flying a plane. Now it begs the question, uh, why couldn't he just let me hitch a ride to the end of the level? But then again, that wouldn't be much of a game. 
So instead, he pops out bubbles and then you can hop on them. scrolling. That's what makes it really tricky. Dang buzzards. killing multiple birds with two rabbit's feet. And here's our bird friend, whose name keeps escaping me. He hitches me a, lets me hitch a ride to the life-size pinball machine. And here, you collect the orbs which are about to appear, and they enable objects to appear. Like, that, that, white line, that white box there eventually becomes a block where you can stand on. Theoretically, I believe you're supposed to dash. That's why they have those dodo trophies. However, in the beginning, I just, as you can see, just casually stroll, and then I start dashing from this point forward. If the time to dash is just right. And more automatic scrolling. <laughs> and away we go. Completed. Space opera. The stage is changing to space. It is now a space opera. This time, I'm a knight of honor. I'll fight the evil empire army all by myself. While I'm doing that, I'll also manage to save Princess Babs. Wait a minute, Princess Babs. You mean I have to rescue you again? That's right. Well, hurry up then. The show's getting ready to start. Okay, time for me to get captured. She never gets stage fright. So as you might guess, this is a spoof on Star Wars. So right off the bat, I end up dying. You can see what happens. <laughs> I land in my coffin. Not fun. You can see the duck stormtroopers. I love this level. I love the music. It's just, everything about it is just awesome.
Robux doing the twirls. Not a pin of objects if you know where to find them. Inside the spaceship. So there it is. Get the stormtroopers over. <laughs> and there's where you insert the key. And now we get to go inside the spaceship. That in turn gets a laser and it blasts through the walls so they can get to one. standing. That's a shield to protect you from those blasts, the pulsars or whatever you want to call them. So you have to stand behind them, otherwise you crap out. Looks like the stormtroopers weren't quite as fortunate. Gravity chamber. So there's switches to turn the gravity wheels off and on. And you go up and down, and the ball goes along with you. Up and down, and up and down. And so it breaks through, and you're able to go up there and grab some of those goodies. gets locked in with you, and every time it collides with that star ball, it creates stars, as you see, and you have to kick it twice so much you go. R.I.P. This next chamber, you can either take the hard course or the easy course. So basically, you're, basically you're dashing up the wall, and the hard course, there's no halfway point, halfway checkpoint, the easy course, there is one. So you hit the dodo switches, that, keep, that helps you keep going. If you hit the out switch, as you can see, uh, you get trapped in a steel drum, and then uh, those stormtroopers bang the clubs, and you... Yeah, it's not good, so you want to avoid the out switches and just go all the way to the top, which I successfully accomplish. Alright, this next area... Lots of stormtroopers... Saved by the screen. If we go up top, there is a little rubber band that, shoot, that flings you across. I like to go down here because there's a bonus. There's a secret key. And there's I'm not exactly sure what these things are called. Um, they have like big bulging heads. I guess they're super smart wizards or something. Who knows? Here's another one of those bands, so I go ahead and go into it, and it shoots me all the way to the, the end here. Now, let me, um, don't want to get hit by those balls. Watch out for the stormtrooper shooting it out to the side there. Here 
I get a little careless. <laughs> Powerful than I have foreseen, O oh, Knight of Honor. Hey, where is Princess Babs? I'll return her if you can defeat me. Just try and take my paralyzer gun. I warn you, do not underestimate my powers. So the goal is to kick his pod off the gun and then kick the gun, laser paralyzer gun to zap him. And you definitely don't want to get zapped yourself. What I do is I just I kick it back and forth to prevent him from reattaching, which inevitably he does. That's the best way to not only win the game, but also just to have a semi control of the paralyzer gun. speed up the text of this area, so that's why I'm reading it slowly. Mm. Stop, stop, stop. How long does this have to go on? Let's clean up and go home. and it goes through all the different scenes of the game. It's clear the loon levitating. <laughs> you feel the few bad. And we're back in the library, there's Calamity. And the worm. There's Dodo. each other. Scribble and little sneezer. And you can see where he gets his name from. It really should be called Big Sneezer. games where the game actually thanks you for playing. Like, you're welcome. Thank you for making this awesome game. There's Buster doing jump rope, jump rope with uh, Buffy and Hampton. This time, your life's not on the line. Well, there you go. Buster Bust Loose. What'd you think? Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. This is Stalkez. See ya!